Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, third video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 26th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Essential Affairs and ECM Ensemble. Bulls, so even trying to good weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, for the next month, and also for the next six months as well. So this will turn into a bit of a long range look ahead. I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just say back first, be on your as our 6 MUK weather forecast. We've also released my first update for autumn. Autumn updates are now underway after delay start. And we're going to have the third glass show update coming up for you uh, this evening as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all our TV and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I am modelling the Gals Worthy's t shirt. So, um, at the moment, this can't go on set because I'm not going to be able to get out of the house post these out to people. But um, we will let you know, you know, when uh, these t-shirts are going on sale. But, uh, yeah, that is the Gals Weathervis official t-shirt for summer 2024. So, uh, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Um, right, OK, let's crack on then. We're going to start off. Having a look at the central and temperature. Well, actually, the CT hasn't updated um, for today. So we're still sitting at 12.12 degrees above, below, should say, you're saying above, two degrees below the 61 to 1990 average provisional to the uh, 14th of June. When we get an update for that, I will, of course, let everybody know. These are the uh, 500 millibar high quality flow charts, Penn State University, for the next week to 10 days. We've got the uh, ECM. That's better. We've got the ECM WF on the top, and the GFS is uh, down here on the bottom. So 500 millibars, 80,000 feet, is an area in the atmosphere. High pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Blue extrapolates you below, average heights reach high pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights. No, blue extrapolates to um, below average heights reach low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights reach high pressure. So, uh, in the 10 day time frame, we see we've got high pressure dominated with the ECM. Um, across much of Europe, actually, it looks relatively high and dry there in the 7 10 day time frame. But GFS is just a little bit deeper with the low pressure in the Atlantic today. Um, and uh, so the high pressure is slightly further south, with slightly stronger uh, flows off the Atlantic, slightly stronger jet stream as well. But I think they're both trending towards higher pressure anyway in the 7 to 10 day time frame. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We've got London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off around to a bit below average at the moment. We're going to find the upper air temperature has been ticking up slightly as we go through the course of uh, next week. Not a particularly big deviation. And there's no sign of any overall sort of dramatic warming um, that's going on here. So. Um, you know, uh, we've got some pretty warm outlier members up here, but then we've got relatively cool ensemble members down there. So overall, I think the last of week, 10 days of uh, June, likely to be warmer than it has been, definitely. Um, and we may see some uh, very warm or hot conditions getting going, but at the moment, it all looks rather, you know, <laughs> rather flimsy. Precipitation-wise, so it's probably shower to come over next few days, but uh, also quite a dry weather. Also, I've got a wetter spell setting up around the 21st, 22nd of June. And then after that, into the last days of the month of the beginning of July. Again, just looking a little bit showery. Nothing overly dramatic showing up there, either in terms of temperature or precipitation, really. Temperature anomaly, so the 16th, 24th of June, a little bit below average. Not particularly, not a particularly big deviation. Precipitation anomaly, 16th, 24th of June. Um, a bit of average is slightly drier, especially for more western regions, I think. Latest wind flow map from earthnorschool.net places us under an area of low pressure today. So, uh, yet again, we remain relatively showery. Right, let's start getting the chart data then. Miss LH UK met Euro Road. It's looking for midnight on Wednesday. High pressure starting to ridge in off the Atlantic. Wednesday, even more of a north northwest direction. It's a bit, bit cool with wind direction and uh, probably quite showery as well. And then uh, as we go through next week, well, lower pressure starts to take over, especially in the north, bringing showery conditions there. Down in the south, we close to a ridge, so probably relatively dry ish. Could be some showers at times, but relatively drier down to south, I think compared to further north. Should be a bit warmer as well. I can't, again, with uh, high pressure ridging in, 
from the Atlantic through uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Then pressure weakens at the end of the week into next weekend. We've got lower pressure out in the Atlantic and also over the continent. Could bring uh, some unsettled weather next weekend. For a high pressure eventually starts re-establishing from the Azores again. <coughs> So, sorry, when high pressure eventually start re establishing from the Azores again by uh, midday next Sunday. And then this is how GFS Midnight Run is looking again. We've got this ridge building in from the west on Wednesday, bringing quite a bit of dry weather through Thursday. Then it looks more showery through Friday into Saturday as lower pressure starts uh, developing to the south and also in the Atlantic as well, heralding some rain at the end of the week. And then in toward day 10, we start finding uh, another uh, system pushing through that could bring some shadow conditions, especially so up in the north. Then high pressure begins to establish as we go into the uh, closing days of June. We go high and dry um, with a lot of the warm weather actually setting up high pressure over to the east coast. We start putting up these southerly winds, so maybe even into some hot weather by the end of June and the beginning of July. That's how the upper air temperatures look as we get to the end of the GFS uh, midnight run. That's 2nd of July. And we've got plus 15 cells of ice firm there moving through uh, France, plus 20 through, moving through in Wales, should say, plus 20 cells of ice firm is into northern France. So it definitely, definitely looks quite a bit hotter there by the beginning of July. And then the uh, 6th there, the Paris Sun, uh, again with that high pressure ridging in on Wednesday. Get around on Thursday, but Friday start to bring low pressure up from the south. That could bring some heavy rain up with it. Then into the weekend, further low pressure pushing through, heralding quite an unsettled weekend. Next week starts the high pressure establishing mode as we go through the week. Turn things mostly dry and warm um, as high pressure takes over there into the closing days of the month. So uh, plenty of dry and fine weather. Maybe a hint of a fungy low getting going by the final weekend of June, 29th and 30th. Um, and it's going to the beginning of July. Well, certainly no heat wave there. <laughs> Actually looking rather showery and quite a bit cooler as well with that area of low pressure anchored just to our southwest. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Uh, drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather. Get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much for doing that. GM again with high pressure ridging up from southwest on Wednesday into Thursday and quite a bit of dry weather. Friday, well, actually, the high pressure is maintained with the GM, so much more settled at the end of the week and next weekend under this ridge with the GM. Consequently, it will be warmer as well. Heading up. Into the following week, though, turns a bit more unsettled, especially so in the north. Still, mainly high pressure influences, though, down in the south. And then finally, we've got the ECM with uh, high pressure bridging in from the Atlantic on Wednesday. Brings quite a dry weather through Thursday. Pressure sort of weakening Friday into Saturday, particularly so for the north. But still, quite a bit high pressure down in the south. Should keep things largely dry there. And relatively warm too. And then we end up, as we saw on the 500 millibar height on the road chart, with uh, high pressure really dominating the weather by the time we get through day 10, which is Wednesday, the 26th of June. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tobetio.com. Uh, Shower conditions in the north, not much in the south though. Some wet to weather flirting with far southeast there um, around the 18th, but uh, most of that's over France actually. Now, we're still having quite a bit of dry weather, some showery bursts in the north, though, over the next week to 10 days, but always quite a bit of dry weather down in the south. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today, four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office, gets us to 26th of June. 12 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure over to the east coast. It should be a lot of dry weather and quite warm weather with that. We've got 11 with high pressure right over the top of the country. We've got 10 with high pressure to the south and low pressure is to the north. The winds are coming in from a westerly direction. Main drive is south, perhaps a bit showery up in the north. We've got 17 um, that have high pressure over and to the east of the country. Main drive quite warm with that. And we've got nine that are more unsettled with low pressure in from the Atlantic. So majority option definitely towards high pressure dominating at day 10. Should be a lot of dry weather with that. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 1st of July. 13 members of the ECM on solids have high pressure from south, low pressure to the north, and winds coming in from the west. So showing the north, main drive down south. 11, very unsettled, with low pressure right over the top of the country. We've got another 11 with deep low pressure to the north of Scotland, higher pressure down towards France, winds coming in 
from the west and they've got 10 with high pressure out in the Atlantic winds coming in from the northwesterly direction something a little bit showery towards France and they've got six with high pressure down towards Scandinavia winds coming in from the southeasterly direction and some low pressure towards the Bay of Biscay so um might turn unsettled by day 14 but say day 10 is uh, heralding quite a high pressure and even up to day 14 we could get high pressure going actually CFSB2 for the next four weeks. These are 500 millibar high time to break down into week periods. The first week period takes from 16th to 22nd of June. Next week has low pressure. The next week, I should say, has low pressure over the south of the country. So gradually we're seeing a transition towards higher uh, pressure into week two, which is the 23rd, 29th of June. High pressure is over Scandinavia. Low pressure out in Antip. That should be drier and warmer, though it could be a little bit volatile if it's low in the Atlantic, maybe triggering some thunder. Week three will be the 30th of June 6th of July high pressure down towards the southwest low pressure towards the northwest looking rather flat and westerly main drive south though and week four also towards higher pressure is the 7th to the 13th of July um, a nice ridge bear through the country brings quite a bit of dry weather you would have thought so after a very wet few months that we've had looks like we are in something a little bit drier here even if it's not necessarily overly warm cfs for july overall today's monthly monthly change daily looks like this so some sort of a ridge really in the atlantic should bring quite a bit of dry wherever you would have thought no particular signal for temperatures and the precipitation again showing no signal so we're looking slightly elusive for july there and as we're not live streaming tonight so we're not going to do a sunday live stream which would include long range of course I'm going to show you some long range in this 10 to 14 day, day uh, to finish. So uh, let's go through the next six, month, six months with the CFS. So uh, hopefully, by the way, live streams will be back soon. Still a little bit sore with the ankle. Maybe next week I might be able to do a live. It might not be able to be the full hour, but we might be able to do sort of half an hour next Sunday anyway. I shall keep everybody updated. But uh, I'm still sort of settling in. You know, I was in the hospital for 11 days. So <laughs> I'm still kind of settling in and getting my bearings a little bit here at the towers at the moment. But hopefully next Sunday you might be able to get a, a, a live going. Uh, and channel members, by the way, I'll have news about your channel member live stream uh, in a day or so. Right, okay, so let's have a quick look at CFS uh, 700 bit of our high times for the next six months. This is July. High pressure in the Atlantic. Probably some sort of lower pressure up here could herald like a bit of a westerly type flow. So not overly warm, but um, that's not too unsettled. But August doesn't look too bad. This has high pressure towards Scandinavia, so that should be a mostly dry-ish and Quite warm August, you would have thought. September, as ever, heralding high pressure right over top of the country. So that's a uh, typical warm and dry September. And then October looks like that. High pressure perhaps going a bit further northwards. Could there be some lower pressure through here? Maybe a bit more unsettled into October. November, high pressure's back again. Oh, uh, much drier, much more anti much more aware of anticyclonic influences here. Bear type had over the past several months. That should be mostly mild and dry for uh, November. And then December looking like that. So a uh, high pressure centered towards Scandinavia, but it's not perfect to bring like a proper easterly. We need to lower the height through here, really. So as it is, I suspect that's uh, a lot of dry weather again for December. Probably quite frosty, quiet, you know, frosty conditions, but not a classic sort of cold easterly. December. About six months away, so anyway, it's not worth worrying about. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And show everyone for dear man. Why not drop a comment or so working about this and all of our videos and content? Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Let's pull up that. Uh that's teacher. Um don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Thank you so much everyone for uh doing that. Right, okay, so that's it for 10 to 14 day. Um I said we're gonna have the third Glastonbury update tonight, probably about seven o'clock. So uh, check back that if you're interested weather for Glastonbury tomorrow. What's UK weather forecast and a 10 to 14 day as well. I have got to get the uh, verification for the spring forecast done uh, as well. I might try and fit that in tomorrow. I will see. Right, so uh, you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm going to have a nap, I think, um, which I've been doing quite a lot of since I got home. Um, and for this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.